Hey Bitcoin watchers, how's it going? JD here, and uh, I've got another video to show here. Cover last week. It was a horrible week in the crypto market, to say the least. Um, where should we begin? Well, we'll begin with the uh, the midterm elections. It was Tuesday that started the push down for Bitcoin. Um, let me go to a regular Bitcoin chart so we can see it better. Yeah, right here. So. You know, this is, yeah, November, this right, this bar right here, or I'm sorry, this is a week candle. So this week right here started that push. Let's see how that looked on that day. Um, it, that day we broke lower. I made a video about that also, but let's see if I can get to it. Uh, on the week time frame, a day. Yeah, so it was, what was that, the second? Uh, November. I can't. I can't find it. But it's, it's one of these days here. It was this one of these pushes here? Um, finally broke us lower after being you know in this range for quite some time. Um, so Bitcoin finally started to make new lows, and so we are currently trading around sixteen five or so, sixteen thousand. And so as you as we go back here to the chart that I keep us on. You can see that we have, well, if I can get it, all of a sudden everything's huge. You can see that we have broken out of that box I had right here that I've had drawn for a long time since April. Um, and so we finally broken lower. So, you know, who knows where the bottom is at? My prediction is around 13,000 just due to where prices were before when this run first started which was right about here so let's draw a new let's put a new line on here so we can watch it uh we just grab a horizontal line let's put it right above this run here i'm, I'm, I'm gonna say right at 13 boom drop it right there so we'll watch this now i'm i'm expecting this to be the target right down here to 13 hopefully that will be the bottom and then from there we can actually start really going heavy on our dollar cost averaging um, i have to move these boxes down to match it but yeah actually all these now that we broke lower i'll move all these boxes down for the next video um, but what we're looking for is we're looking for bitcoin to finally hit that bottom and then start consolidating and uh, once it consolidates move into the seed time um, that'd just be a good time to buy projects there's tons of projects to buy right now um so you really can start now there's really no reason to wait i mean if bitcoin drops another three thousand that's i mean we're at 16 now i mean what's another three thousand that's not going to make or break your investment so you really can start dollar cost averaging now I've, i i continually dollar cost average you know uh to build up my portfolio grab new projects so you know now is the time to buy don't listen to what people are saying about now it's time to sell now it's time to start buying um professional investors successful investors buy when things are on sale you know buy when there's blood in the streets and there's definitely blood in the streets so the other thing that happened last week was um i guess i guess this would be considered a black swan event i mean ftx exchange just went belly up i mean uh, it was i believe it was the second largest exchange and uh come to find out they weren't doing things the right way so let's look let's look at their their coin real quick on coin gecko and this is a prime example their coin was uh ftt this here is a prime example of why i teach and i have it in my book to not store your crypto on exchanges so this coin was just 22 dollars about this time last week now it's a dollar 34 and I, don't, I doubt it's coming back because they filed chapter 11 bankruptcy and even after they did that then there's been a whole bunch of coins that got moved off of the platform it's just bad stuff all the way around it's bad for the crypto market it's horrible for the investors who had coins locked on there um and i was a quite a fan of ftx um out of all the exchanges that i used they were my favorite their technology was 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 great it was easy to trade um Every time I bought a coin, they gave me a free coin. Uh, I did a lot of business with them, so I'm sad to see them go, you know. But if you're not doing things the right way, you don't need to be in business. So, you know, there you have it. But again, this is why I only use exchanges for what they're meant for. And that's to 
uh, purchase your crypto, then get it off the exchange. You know, I cover that in my book, Be the Bank, over and over and over and over again. And I'll keep harping on it here because, hey, why not? It's, it's, it's a sound piece of advice. Do not leave your crypto on an exchange. If you do, you really don't own it yet. They're holding it in a custodian wallet. They don't give you the keys to it. And the, the phrase is whoever owns the keys owns the coins. So when you buy your crypto, move it off the exchange um, immediately. Um, so for those of you who need a new exchange, because of FTX going down, you know, if you come here to CoinGecko, here are some top exchanges ranked by Trust Score. And uh, number one is Coinbase. Uh, you got these are centralized. You got Kraken. You know, Gemini, Binance, so there's uh, Crypto.com. Crypto.com was just number four. I just, I'm, of course, I've been looking at this. I was just looking at this yesterday. They were number four. So something just happened to Crypto.com where they moved $400 million off. Yeah, there's an article about that. Um, let's run over to Decrypt. Because I haven't read this article yet, but I saw it. Something happened here. Crypto.com SEO says, business as usual after revelations of accidental $400 million transfer. So I haven't read this article yet. I don't know what's going on with that. But this is why you have to stay up on crypto news, because I kid you not, <laughs> Crypto.com was ranked number four yesterday. Now, because of that incident, their trust scores went down. Now they're ranked 13 again. And then Crypto.com is another um, exchange I use. I like them because they allow you to use credit cards to buy crypto. But another reason why you don't leave your coins on an exchange when you when you get your coins move it off the exchange put it into a wallet that you own like an exodus wallet hopefully you have an exodus wallet or a cold storage wallet like a ledger.com wallet and these things are important um if you don't have either of those look in the description and you can find a link to ledger find a, a link to exodus don't leave your crypto on these exchanges it's not safe it's not safe hide the women hide the children it's not safe buy your coin use them for what they're for to exchange your usd or your euro or wherever country your currency is to exchange your currency to buy some crypto that's all it's for that's all an exchange is for after that get it off so we had that so the last piece of news is the um you know the inflation report i was saying if it had been bad you know we we'd be at thirteen thousand already but it wasn't it actually came in better than expected and the s p has started to rally as we see so i was expecting us to possibly be heading down back into this box but because of that news being good s p is rallying so you know the stocks are having a nice little little bump here so we'll have to see that could be the beginning of uh you know the uptrend right now the s p and bitcoin are not coupled anymore s p is running up bitcoin is running down so this is very interesting times to see how this continues to play out um but for those of us who are you know trying to do crypto we have broken out of my box i'm expecting a lower thirteen thousand. but right now hey if you see great projects oh Speaking of great projects, so you know, back to Coin Gecko, everything is on sale. So hey, take your pick. You know, grab something that's in the top hundred. You know, Cardona. If Cardona gets down to twenty cent, oh yeah, I'm I'm buying that up again. Um, I like Flow. Flow for those who don't know, those who are if you remember trading baseball cards and stuff, Flow has tons of partnerships with like Disney, NBA, NFL. Uh, uh, MMA and so they do those like collectibles uh, those NFT collectibles so flow is a great price at 119 right now I believe it has uh, all time high of four, yeah all time high of 42 bucks you know great coin to pick up right now it's only a dollar you know so look for look for coins like this um, look for projects like that and coin gecko is the place to find them so just go through here and look at you know some great projects another one is uh, I'm looking to grab some sushi Algorithm, everything's on sale, guys. Everything's on sale, so it's time to start dollar cost averaging. So, you know, go to Coin Gecko, do your research, and hey, let's start grabbing some coins and be ready for the next bull run. So, I gotta cut this one short. Uh, well, not short because this has been a long video, but I gotta get it off. But until the next video, as always, this is JD, and I wish you increase on the sudden. Bye bye.